this is Kim Caldwell and today I wanted to share with you something that um, I've been doing and I plan to continue doing and I'm getting great results with um, sun gazing and talk to you about it and give you some ideas it is basically it's all over the internet people are spending time in the sun and doing it in a certain way and we'll talk about it and first I want to say that you know <sighs> Obviously, I'm not a doctor. You are always your first opinion and have to do your due diligence and have to do your research and have to do what's best for you. So this is just an idea for you to play with and for you to know about if one day in the future you might need a little bit of a health boost and something you can look at. Okay, we are told not to look into the sun. Um, we are told that the sun creates cancer. There's a lot of things we're told, and I think that we really have to get in and investigate and see what's best for us because it is our responsibility to learn these things and take great care of ourselves. With that said, a couple of weeks ago, that little voice, that little divine guidance that comes in that we get when we meditate, please check out my YouTube on meditation or my meditation YouTube, you'll enjoy. I hope I made it. Um, well, divine energy made it, and I want to send you peace and blessings with it. Um, as we start to listen to that voice that flows in when we are in our God self, um, it'll tell us many things. My voice kept saying, Kim, take off your cool sunglasses. I've got the cutest sunglasses, and I love them, and they look so cute on anyway. And finally, I was like, okay, I hear the voice, okay? And the sun, frankly, sometimes bothers my eyes, you know, but I thought, okay, let's just do it and push through it. So within about a week of not wearing my sunglasses when I'm outside, I was feeling much better. And so I'm very open. And so then I start looking around and accidentally, there's no accidents, I was vibing with it, saw a video on sun gazing. And it was fascinating to me. And basically the practice goes a little bit like this. There are two hours during the day where the sun is more safe is safer to stare at. They say first thing in the morning when the sun's rising and right at night when the sun's coming down. So those are our two times that we work with. Um, and we want to be very careful. We want to do our due diligence and we want to do what feels good to us. Don't do it unless it feels good. So I start playing with it and kind of watching the sun at those times during the days and actually looking into it. And of course at first it was a little bit overwhelming, but right when I started doing it, it just started opening up my mind and I could, you know, just hear the voice better. I had more energy. I felt better. I felt lighter. I felt brighter. So I thought, okay, let me do my research. Okay, what they're saying is, number one, it stimulates our pineal gland. Our pineal gland, as we age, they say it shrivels and you don't hear enough about it. You don't really hear how to take care of it, but this is one way to do it. Of course, there's other ways to do it. You know, yoga, moving the body, moving the lymph system, skin brushing. There's all kinds of ways to do it, but this is another way to stimulate it. And the pineal, um, frankly, I think that the sun is really what's really helping with this also though, so this is good to know. Okay, vitamin D. It's pumping a lot of vitamin D into us and we all know that vitamin D is, we're told that we need more vitamin D and that it helps to heal the body, it helps, works on the teeth, it works on the nervous system. We know that the vitamin D is important and the sun is a healthy, free supply of this. I think we all know that during the winter people experience more SAD, SAD or something, that, that disease where you're not getting enough sunlight and depression comes on. So more sunlight is going to bring us into a better state of mind and feel better and um, get rid help get rid of depression and it's free you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to ask anyone you don't have to do anything we all have the same um, same access to this beautiful gorgeous glowing Sun um, okay so I'm reading one of my books and I love my different books and um, basically I am a person who believes that there are and have to be natural cures to heal our body uh, it what Ever the creator is, whatever you call your creator, if it's your higher self. Atheist, let's talk to anybody, any any creator that you have imagined, which you are a powerful creator, has to have a way where we can heal ourselves, okay? It just only makes sense. So this is how I brought in How Green Smoothies Save My Life. So check that out if you want. Um, also check out Activate Your Abundance if you get the urge, which is all about focusing on our mind and all about understanding how our emotions affect our body and affect our abundance. Okay, so I'm reading Unveiled Mysteries, which is fun. It's one of my it's one of my books that's just way out there. It's a Saint Germain book. And I love finding things that synchronize. Okay, so I'm reading and they're talking about the Incas and during the you know, this is just one thing. They were talking about how the Incas had reached a lot of different stages of um, enlightenment and development. And I love this. They said the Inca's devotion to his source was very great, for he knew and consciously acknowledged the power of the great central sun. This true understanding was taught to the Incan people and because of because they knew to what the great central sun referred, used the sun as the symbol of the Godhead. 
Okay, now I'm not saying to worship the sun, but I'm saying these people knew. They were an enlightened bunch and they knew. You've also got the Aztecs who basically worship the sun. So I'm not saying that we need to worship the sun, but I'm saying we need to pay attention. There's something going on here. There's a reason that so many cultures and so many civilizations in the past and ancient times have gotten great health and benefits from the sun. And it's here, it's for us, it's free, it's part of our thing. Now, um, as you start playing with and practicing with the sun, remember, less is more. Um, go slowly. Um, don't try to overdo. Listen to your own body. Do what's best for you and put your opinion first. Do your due diligence and look around. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, check it out. Try it. Get a little more sunlight. Oh, and I was going to say, these, the Swedish sunspots you always hear about. These doctors, they take people and they put them in the sunlight for hours and heal them. So don't forget about that. You can look that up too. Um, we have a free, abundant supply of light energy, and the light comes in. Oh, and I know what else I was going to say. Think about it. If you become, and you're taking in the sun, you are bringing in this light into your body, and the light is coming in, and you're bringing it in with deep breaths, and you're breaking up all kinds of negative, heavy energy. Oh, and I love to do this. When, I, when I'm in my sun, and I'm in my moment, and I'm focused, and I'm kind of meditating with the sun, I like to say, I now touch my third eye. I now set the intention for my love, light, peace, and radiance in my relationships. Deep breath. I now set the intention to love myself like I've never done before and to give myself a break and to be easy on myself and to know my own magnificence and to know my connection to the source. Deep breath. I now set the intention with the light and love that I'm feeling through the deep sun to create abundance on all levels, abundance of health, abundance of love, abundance of wealth. Set. So, spend your time in the sun with intention. Bring it in. Use it. It wants to help us. It's one of our tools. I send you peace and blessings. Yeah.